This is the next episode of my XR Weekly News. We are in week 42, 2025, and Christmas is getting closer and closer. They, I think uh, very soon they start building the Christmas market here. <laughs> it's crazy, it's also very cold. Before I forget it, next week there will be no weekly news because I'm on vacation. One week vacation, ah, oh, I deserve it. <laughs> I, I, I made a lot of videos, it's crazy. And also you will just not notice that I'm not there because I pre-produced the videos of course for you. So you have something to watch while I'm not there. So, uh, but you, do, you will not miss anything because the week after that, I will um, repeat all the news that were important. For example, it could be that on um, next week on October 22nd or 21st, the new Samsung Galaxy XR or Samsung Muhan with the Android XR will be announced. Uh, I'm not sure if I can make a video from vacation. I, I don't know, perhaps it works, but otherwise I will show it to you later. So, everything about XR hardware games releases and sales. Let's have some fun with the XR weekly news and let's go. Do you remember the Lynx R1 headset? This was one of the first like mixed reality headsets that was on the market, uh, but it was announced and then there were a lot of problems. So the price was higher and higher and then they had, they had to delay it and delay it. And after that, uh, when it came out, then uh, they couldn't deliver as fast as needed and also there was the competitor the quest pro and then it was over right so even the quest pro that was the direct uh, competitor was a fail <laughs> so you can imagine that uh, links r1 didn't do well to be honest and i already tried the links r1 and you don't even need to try it you, you just have to see the lenses before you try it and then you could think how on earth should that work with the strange uh, lenses and it doesn't work <laughs> yeah i'm sorry for that but i mean i i, I um i know the founder stan Larock, and he's a really nice guy uh, he's a bit he's a bit a quiet guy but he's really nice and he deserves um, a good headset uh, to bring a good headset on the market. So I really hope the Lynx R2 or however it's called will be a success. Um, likely there will be of course a new processor like the same in the Quest 3 or in the upcoming Galaxy XR and of course uh, higher resolution and all the things and the cool thing is or the interesting thing is it will likely run Android XR, the new Google um, uh, operating system for XR headsets. Wow! So as you can see right now, Android XR is starting and uh, this could be uh, a little bit tough for Meta. We will see. Star Trek Infection. So perhaps you've seen my video. I tried an early version at the Gamescom event this year and it was really good to be honest. Um, so the game is not like um, you you always know directly what to do. So you have to find clues, you have to do uh, things, you have to combine things and so on. It's not like shooting, shooting, shooting. You really have to find a solution for, for uh, quests and so on. And that was really interesting. Yeah, it, Not everything was perfect, but it was a very early version, but I'm really looking forward to the final version and it will come pretty soon on December 11, 2025, to Quest 3, 3S and also PC VR. So I guarantee you that I will make a video about this again because that was a blast. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So now something completely different has nothing in common with gaming. So um, perhaps you know the company Anduril. This is the company that the god of VR um, created Palmer Lucky. Without Palmer Lucky, I, will, I would not talk to you now because he in, invented the new generation of VR headsets with the Oculus Rift. Really crazy. And then everything began with Facebook and, and Meta and so on. Um, but now he created Enduril, 
a new company, a military tech company, and this headset here is the so-called Eagle Eye, and it's used by the US military, and here you can see how it works. So it looks like Battlefield in real life. So you have like um, a, a mini map where you can see your friendly soldiers, even behind obstacles, you can see a drone shot from above, you can switch to low light um, vision and all that stuff. This is high tech, extreme high tech. And um, I think they will use it uh, very soon in in, in real uh, military um, things. And wow, insane, right? Who sh who should uh, have known that this this will exist? Wow, I mean, I I would really love to try it, but it's impossible. I mean. Even crazy that they that they even show it uh, public in the internet from the U.S. military, but yeah, Palmer Lucky did great work, I must say. <laughs> Finally, guys, next week the cat will be out of the uh, uh, bag. <laughs> so um, on October twenty first at ten p.m. ET, um, we will see the new. Samsung headset and this is likely be called Samsung Galaxy XR, Project Muhan, whatever and um, we already know things about it. It will be, it will have Android XR, it will have, um, we see it here, like the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, dual micro OLED pancake lenses, auto IPD eye tracking, hand tracking, then this uh, attached light shield, this thing here and um, also a removable external battery pack like with the Apple Vision Pro. And it will cost between $1,800 and $2,900. <laughs> but the thing is, there are different questions. So when can we order it? Perhaps directly during the event. When will it be shipped? <clears throat> and where will it be shipped? Only, I mean, it's for sure that it will be shipped in South Korea, but also in the US, also in Europe, no idea, no idea. I have no idea. <clears throat> During the event, by the way, I will be in the States, but not to buy this and not to buy the Apple Vision Pro M5, just for vacation, <laughs> yeah? But uh, I don't think that uh, we can buy it in the US soon, but hopefully, perhaps, we can do it. And then I definitely want to try it on my channel. I'm really looking forward to that. And we will see, right? Yeah, and this news uh, is also very interesting. I made a separate video about this, so I will not talk too long about this. Apple announced the M5 Vision Pro, so the successor of the old Vision Pro, and the dual knit band. The, the, this is the band, uh, this one here, it makes it likely more comfortable. However, it's heavier than the old one. The old one was heavy and this one is even heavier. Hopefully the dual knit band can um, make it still more comfortable. And then of course we have a new processor. That means we have 10% higher resolution. We have 120 hertz refresh rate. Whoa. Yeah, so less motion blur. Then everything is loading faster, of course. The personas are uh, generated faster. We have 30 minutes more battery life. Yeah, and um, all in all better performance, of course. And really cool. The dual band can also be purchased separately for $99 for the old Apple Vision Pro. And the price is the same, at least in dollars. In Euro it's cheaper, crazy. But uh, in, in dollars it's the same price than the original one. And it will be available starting October 22nd in US, UK, Canada, Australia, Germany, France, Japan, Hong Kong, UAI, and later in other countries as well. So yeah, you can go to the Apple store and then you can um, just buy it then. Pretty cool. And um, also we will have Steam Link support. That's crazy, right? Steam Link support. And um, that will likely mean we can play um, Steam VR games because we will also have some additional accessories. For example, we will have the Logitech stylus. We can paint and uh, some stuff. It will be um, starting October 22nd for $130. But also we will have 
the PlayStation VR 2 controllers finally sold separately by Apple uh, starting November 11, 2025 for $250. That's absolutely crazy, right? So, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. And, uh, I mean, uh, it's still very expensive, yeah? So, I mean... Normally, the, the, uh, you should not buy it. But if you have money and you really want a very good experience for, for PC VR as well, you can definitely um, go for it. I tried it and it's really, really great. So I'm really looking forward to try the new one. And also, uh, I made a video about this, a separate video. Uh, Meta is rolling out Quest version 81. And we have some... Uh, news here, some new features, new immersive home. We cannot only teleport through this, we can also smooth locomotion, smoothly walk through it, really nice. And then we have um, pinned windows, so we can pin up to 12 windows to our virtual walls and also in mixed reality to our real walls and the headset will recognize it, really nice. 2D window anchoring, so we have a small anchor button, so we can anchor it. We can also resize it uh, with the same ratio and, and all this stuff. And then we have quick play, that means we can play games before they are f uh, uh, downloaded to 100%. We now have our PC VR games library. Uh, in, in the Quest user interface, we can start it without the, uh, the PC VR interface. Then the navigator system is gone we have the old system now again which is much better if you are, are already on the new one you can go to um, um, settings and then switch it off and then restart the headset we have a world safety system when we get to a close to a real wall it asks will you use the old boundary or create a new one we have improved horizon feed a better would be no horizon feed because Everybody's closing that. It's the first thing we do, right? I mean, why do they force us? And then we have um, Windows 11 Remote Desktop. It's not longer experimental. We have the improved Meta AI. The user interface for user switch is different. And then we have Hyperscape Capture that I already showed you in a separate video where you can scan your room. Yeah, and also the new Horizon Worlds um, Central um, is a different place now. It's bigger, it's uh, cleaner and so on. You can check it out. This is update version 81. And here's the community spotlight of the week. The community members that are very active this week uh, are, uh, wrote nice comments which were uh, liked a lot. We have a black sheep gene, thank you so much. Tazio11, Siegfried, greeting. Wolf and Andy Sky. Thank you so much for being active in my community. Uh, and uh, thank you again, thank you again. <laughs> really nice. I love it and you support the channel with that. And here's the survey of the week. So um, you decided, <laughs> I made the poll on, on X. Uh, many people don't like that because you need an account and so on. So I don't know where, I could do it on YouTube, but then I cannot link it. This, this is difficult. I, I will have a vacation. I'm on vacation now and I will think about it where I can do the next survey. So this week will, there will be no, no survey, but in the next news and then we will see. So the question this week was, what feature are you most excited for in a potential Valve Index 2 Steam frame? And the answers, the most clicked answers was wireless PC VR with a higher resolution. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, everybody's used to a Quest. It was wireless. And why should we go back to a cable? And also the old index has a pretty low resolution right now. And we need higher resolution. Yeah. Inside out tracking is not so uh, uh, <laughs> much clicked because I think many people are used to the lighthouse, which is still the best tracking. I mean, inside out is getting much better. I have no problems with uh, inside out tracking, uh, but still, yeah, I can understand. And also the hybrid controllers, many people don't like. Um, I think because the Valve Index controllers still count as the best controllers, right? So people don't want newer controllers. Very interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, uh, it were 51 voices, um, 51 votes. It's not so much, but still the direction is clear. 
Um, but next time we will see if we go to another platform. Thank you so much for the people that were participating. Do you like this kind of uh, polls or surveys? Please write it in the comments below. And let's check out the releases. Yeah, as always, you get 10% uh, off every MetaQuest game with my coupon code VoodooDE. So we have uh, Europe Prime VR. This is a space puzzle adventure. Then we have Reach. I showed that on my channel. This is a really nice parkour adventure shooter. And then we have Vex Mage. This is a stressful arena shooter where we have to shoot a lot. <laughs> and then on Steam we also have Reach. And we have Slap Fighter. Yeah, a fighting game and also Artist Slayer. There's also a hack and slash fighting game. And on PlayStation VR 2, we have also Reach. And let's check out the sales. On Meta, we have Among Us 3D, a really nice multiplayer game for $6.99, Organ Quarter, nice horror game for $17.99, Detective VR is a nice. Um, game where you solve cases, 899 Silent Slayer World of Vampire, a, a jump scare horror uh, puzzle, 999 I Expect You to Die, also a nice escape room game, 1399 on Steam we have Tone Ship, VR, this is a god simulator, uh, 50%, Paper Beast is a nice adventure, exploring adventure, 90%, and then we have Fisherman's Tale 2, really nice puzzle, 60% of Hubris, Action Adventure 65% of the 7 Guest VR Puzzle Adventure 50% of and look at this Gran Turismo 7 really nice racing game 50% of you should definitely get it it's great so this were the weekly news this week as I said next week there will be no weekly news I'm on vacation but after that I will show you all the things you missed thank you so much for watching give me thumbs up subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality see ya Voodoo D.E.